Property rights, fair transactions, rule of law, the underpinnings of civilized existence have for thousands of years depended on the ability to keep and reference accurate records. Scribes documented tax payments, property ownership, and marriage agreements. These records created trust in contracts. Trust allowed for cooperation, and cooperation enabled progress. But for records to be useful, they must be trustworthy, and this requires a central source of truth, an authority to keep the official account and settle any disputes. Bank balances, passports, and house titles, for example, are all records that require a reliable central authority. Without a central authority, records can be forged or manipulated. In a famous early 20th century example, con artist George C. Parker successfully used forged documents to sell the Brooklyn Bridge multiple times. Without a clear central authority to authenticate ownership, documents are worthless. They really don't prove anything. Record keeping might not seem like the most thrilling topic, and you might be wondering what this has to do with blockchain, one of the most emergent and dynamic topics in technology today. Well, behind all the buzz around blockchain and Bitcoin is a simple fact. Blockchain is just a new form of digital record keeping. Digital records themselves are not new. Modern databases allow us to efficiently store, share, and search through massive amounts of information. However, all these digital records rely on a central authority to keep the data safe and be the source of truth. Blockchain, a different protocol for digital record keeping, offers something new. It creates trust in records without a central authority. In 2009, a researcher noticed that this combination, high trust without a central authority, had a unique potential. Blockchain could be used to create an alternative system of currency, one that operates without any governing body. The researcher, known only by the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto, called his scheme Bitcoin, and a blockchain movement was born. While Bitcoin is the most commonly recognized application of blockchain technology, it is merely the tip of the blockchain iceberg. In this module, we will explore this iceberg by answering three questions. What is a blockchain? How does it work? And how can it be applied to global industries like finance, supply chain, healthcare, and government?